What's right. up? Jukebox TV, Base Headquarters. It's your man Ab the Base Head. Uh, we got Base Head P over here, Base Head E. What's up? Uh, I sound as a, as a, I say first me, I was recruited to the team because uh, me, I like soul music a lot and uh, they like the kind of samples that I, I pick. And uh, one day before, you know, when I first met, met him and shit, they uh, heard this track I made. And they was like, man, we fucking with it. You know, we about to start this crew called the production crew called the Bass Heads. So it came through and that's how it started for me. Um, me personally, um, I'm, I met, I mean, we might as well just go all we go about. I met him at the Gap. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was a manager at the Gap. And um, he was working at the Gap. And... <clears throat> we were talking about music and about our opinions, just about rap and the current state of the, the current state of hip hop. We were talking in. about music. We talked about music every day. Yeah, I mean, with the first time we initially every met. Every single day. Yeah, yeah. So that's just, all we talked about. Yeah, it was, all, all we talked about was music. Like, I mean, and and I respect and I acknowledge that he ex, he he extensively knew about music and understood music. We had we had very yeah. different opinions. Very different music, opinions. Uh, when we first met each other. E extremely. Yeah. Like to total opposite opinions. Like I when he the kind of music that he liked, I hated it. The kind of music that I liked, he was angry. Like he was so angry. <laughs> he was so angry when I met him at the state of hip hop that he made a song and gave it to me when I was at work. I had burnt the CD and everything. And the whole song was about everybody selling out and you know he was so mad. But I don't know, man. We like we we agreed on a lot of life principles, and so um like you I know, think we, I think we knew we could see that we both could learn from each other. Right. Even though we were at the end of the spec different end of the spectrum, I think we both need, knew that we needed to meet somewhere in the middle to better ourselves. To and, that, yeah, as yeah, and I think yeah. I was like the, the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you, yeah that, that's 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 like a perfect way to explain it. Like, I mean, like, I liked like hip hop though, you know. And the, and the stuff was starting to go to down south. It was starting to get southern. This was like 05 when I when I when I met him. Maybe 05, 04, 05 when I met him. And things were just starting to kind of go to the southern stuff. And but I still like hip hop. You know, the dip set was still doing anything. Yeah, it's so. all, 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 all of it's still hip hop. Yeah, nah, I mean, sorry, but East East Coast kind of like boom tap. Like the original. Hip -hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like boom, boom yeah, tap kind of. Like yeah, 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 boom bat, boom bat type shit. You know what I'm saying? And so we started making it everything. We started sampling mostly. Um, and then we just kept sampling. And we was making beats for a uh, Mad Power Unit. Debo at the time was do, really doing his thing. I don't like, we kind of old, so y'all youngers might not remember that. Like, we was partying at Pearl and like 1223 and stuff. We was making beats for them. And we got on a couple mixtapes. We got a couple P cutting mixtapes, but it ain't really, you know, it, it ain't really, it ain't really do too much. And we just started chilling and still making beats at the same time. But we weren't, that wasn't really our focus. And too, I mean, like, he always gonna be making beats, but I'm like, every now and then, I just, it might have been a period of time where I made beats for like a year or something, you know, but we came but back we, together. And once and we got just... together the first time, because, you know, we did stop working with each other, but when we first started working did together. Did we stop working together after um, Got Cracked? It was after Got Cracked. It was after Got Cracked. Like, got so, cracked but was before, like, mistake. when we right. first started, we started, like, like a production crew. Then when we started working together and, and then started, our ideas started meshing, we were like, well, we could start our own label if we wanted to. You know, we got a whole lot of elements. We did. We knew we knew we had a lot to learn. But as far as like a lot of dudes that we were around that were making music, we knew we were ahead of them a little bit. Being as though we would put our head together on, on a lot of tracks. So when we stopped working working together for a little while, we got. I mean, I sat down and I talked to E one day and shit. And I was like, man, we need to just get this shit to try and shit. So I went back around the way because uh, Trail, Fat Trail. He, we from the same neighborhood, but I'm like way older than him. So I didn't know Young until P brought him around and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like the same block and shit. So um, I went and found Young and shit. He made a song called No Row. 